Hi guys, um, several asked me uh, what I was doing at the beginning of the season, how I was putting my spec points, uh, how I was resetting and everything. So uh, I decided to make a video for those who want to know and, um, and yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's the best practice, I don't know if it's the most efficient, but it's what I do and until now it worked quite well. Um, so yeah, what I start to do is uh, one week and one day before being able to enter the map. So until tonight reset, one day before the, the beginning of the sign up week, I use a basic specialization reset to respect my points. Um, I do it that quickly in the in the in the week. Well, one week before, because when I enter on Monday, I want to be able to place my buildings and already use again one of these. So if it's still in cooldown, it's not good. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. I, I I do it one week in advance so that Monday I can already use this one, because I'm gonna um you're gonna need uh two uh speci specialization reset per week with what I do. Um. There's a threshold at 107 uh, spec points where you don't need to do that anymore because you don't have to choose uh, after between the processing queue and the more tiles. But until then, uh, you really need that basic specialization reset on Monday. Um, so yeah, so today I respect for uh, my buildings. Um, I went on at least, you have to go at least until the Constriction Master 3 so that you can open all your buildings. And ideally, you want those three um, composite process because they will reduce the material that you need uh, to upgrade your workshops and your fortresses. So at least that, and then you can put your spec points where you want. Uh, I would advise you to put them on the buildings uh, since it's what you're going to do at first and then you're going to reset again. So it's, I think it's really the best thing you can do. Uh, I don't really see where you would want to put them otherwise anyways. Unless you don't reset, but then it's kind of useful, uh, useless. Sorry. Um, so yeah, so that's what I do. And here I just went a little bit further down um, to have more uh, to use less speed ups on the buildings. But um, yeah, so that's technically what you want to start with, uh, even before entering the map. When you enter the map on the Monday, you place your buildings. You use your skills on the green left. And you upgrade your fortresses and your workshops. You want uh, your workshops to be at least level 9 each and your fortresses to be at least level 5 each. That's what I started with last season. I was workshop level 9 and fortresses level 5. Why the fortresses? Because when you force a tile, the fortresses having your fortresses level 5 will make you lose less troops and will make you be able to force tiles a little bit quicker. Um, so yeah, it will be a little bit easier to force tiles. Um, and the, for the workshops, it's obviously because you want them level 9, which is kind of a level you can keep with most of the season, I want to say. And since you're not wanting to go on the wood and iron uh, tiles, then you really need to have them where you, at a yeah at a good uh, process amount for the future. So that's about it for the beginning. Um, so yeah, I, I go on the map. Uh, I do that. I I upgrade my workshops and my 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 fortresses, and then I respec. I use the basic specialization reset with a seven days cooldown, and I go all the way to the to the end on the on the blue right on the bottom side and I go at the beginning on the agricultural technology uh, on the green left uh, on the green top left sorry um, and I push all the way along to uh, the um, the territory cap if you can go both sides that's perfect that's what you want ideally you want at least all the 10 uh, extra tiles here why do you want that? Because um, this side here will um, give you more resources uh, for, for the tiles that you harvest. Uh, you'll have more resources of, of food and marble. And you'll have even more if you have 10 more tiles. Um, you really want to 
get the more resources possible as quickly as possible to level up the coalition buildings quickly and level up your 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 well basically your level tiles quickly um so yeah but it's not all because at some point uh at the very beginning it's okay you can stay like this but you will see that quickly you start to stock um you start to process um less quicker than you can stock and that is good. That is what you want. At the beginning, you want to have a little stock of the material um, so that after you can reset again with um, or the, the seven day um, uh, reset cooldown if it already ended or the free one that you get every week when you buy the pack uh, of Eden or the one you buy every week. And you want to reset to the blue left to have one processing queue more. Uh, so that you process all the material that you stocked and once that's done you go again on the green up and you just change like this and alternate all the season um this is how you can you can grow the most quickly i think um on the coalition uh, buildings at some point uh you kind of want to take uh, some some well you could also want to take a little bit more uh, of the iron and lumber to upgrade your your workshops but um, it's kind of tricky because then you get slower on the coalition. It's not, I, I would say it's, you don't really ask yourself that question before at least level 13, I th I'd say. Um, because at that point, the level nine workshop is good enough. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was asking myself this question last season uh, when I reached, yeah, maybe level 12 or 13 tiles. Because I had the feeling that if my workshops were uh, more upgraded, it would go even quicker. But that means I would, kind of lose time on the coalition thing so I don't really know at that point I just do like I feel when I stay on the coalition but this season instead of being level 9 on the workshops I'm gonna try to be level 10 as soon as I start so I won't really ask myself this question if I can especially since uh, when you reach the 107 spec points threshold you don't really have to choose between going on the processing queue and having the 10 extra tiles because you can have them all um, that's 107 spec points is what you really want to be to, to start really cool on this thing um, and have all you want without having to respect constantly but uh, yeah that's how I tend to start my seasons and that's how I try to force tiles quite e quite quickly but you also need kind of some troops for that and 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 yeah um, that's what I do so I hope I helped those who answered those questions, uh, so asked those questions, sorry. Um, I hope that was kind of useful for you guys. And, um, and well, if you have questions, don't hesitate. I mean, even during the season, if I can answer, I will. Uh, and, and yeah. <laughs>